Hello. I'm not sure this is going to work because I have my iPad here. See? My little iPad. My little iPad here and I have it hook up, hooked up to speakers that somebody was very kind to send me. Um, I, I'm not sure who sent me this. I think it was um, Slender Monster. He dared me. He double dared me to be brave enough to watch the video on YouTube called 21 Minutes in Hell. <laughs> so, I thought, you know, <laughs> this is this is my preview of my eternal home. Shall we watch it? Let's see if it even works on my iPad. Some of my videos, some videos do and some don't. Okay, so we'll see. Are we going to play? Are we going to play on my iPad? Do, 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 do. It's thinking about it. Thinking, please play, because it would be so much better if you played on this iPad. Thinking about it. still thinking about it. Maybe it's just quiet in hell. Maybe because all I see right now is a black screen <laughs> and it's just being very quiet. Maybe if I tap the screen something will happen. Play? Okay. All right, let's do something. Play. It's just a black screen. It's not doing anything. Maybe 20, maybe, maybe hell is just a very black place that doesn't have any sound. Ooh, let's see. Don't die and open your eyes in hell. It exists whether you believe it or not. Bill Weiss saw the searing flames of hell, felt total isolation, and I don't think this is going to play on my iPad, and experienced the putrid and rotting stench. Of course, isn't it funny how this guy has this afterlife experience. It just happens to perfectly fit with the Christian idea of hell. Yeah, right. Oh, rotting stench, deafening screams of agony, terrorizing demons, and finally the strong hand of God lifting him out of the pits. <laughs> wow, there is an old saying it's better to believe and be safe <laughs> rather than not to believe and be damned for all eternity. Pascal's wager. You know, if I was God and I I knew, I mean, he's not like stupid or something. This is supposed to be an all-knowing being, right? He knows everything. He knows our every thought and our every inclination. He knows what motivates and drives us. So these people that better to be safe than sorry. Oh, okay, I'll believe. Okay, it's like an insurance policy. Yeah, all right. I I don't. What if I get an accident? You know, I have. I better sign up for this insurance policy in case I get an accident. I mean, there's a big chance I might not. But better to be safe than sorry. That's what it's like. But but this is more like okay. I'm gonna believe because I don't want to go to hell, and God isn't gonna know that this is the only motivation you have. Oh, th this guy here, he wants to get in heaven, God. He he uh, he says he believed. He, he he went his whole life believing, so he wouldn't go to hell. Not be not believing because, you know, he really believes, or not believing because he thinks you're wonderful, you know, or not believing because, you know, he thinks that, that Jesus actually lived and actually died on the cross just for him. No, he's here because he didn't want to go to hell. So he's cho he chose to believe. Like, people can actually choose to believe something. Oh, okay, well, you know, since he put it that way, I think I better believe. Yeah. Now that you mention it, you know, after watching this 21 minutes of hell, I am just so scared that I'm going to just force myself to believe now so I don't go to hell kind of self-serving of me, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I wonder how, how God would be impressed by that. You know, what God would be impressed by that? <laughs> uh, anyway, obviously this video is not going to play. So, the only 
other solution is coming back and playing it on my regular computer, which I will do, but I just have to say it's going to sound like shit. So there'll be a two-parter. <laughs> the second part of the video will have me playing this video because I was dared to play this video. You'll get to watch my facial expressions as I as I watch the you know, listen to the screams of terror, you know? Um and that'll be part two, so stay tuned. Okay. I think it wasn't Slender Monster. Okay, Bill Weiss official testimony, soulchoiceministries.org. Soul Choice Ministry, is she a think Christianity's behind this? Oh, it's gonna be shit. With integrity, he has been the best example to me. Sometimes it plays better than other times, and this is a crappy time. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to play this stupid thing. <laughs> yeah, it's the next morning. I, I just, I didn't have time to watch this last night. Bill is a man of integrity. He has been the best example to me of a godly person. Well, we went to a prayer meeting like we normally do Sunday night. Oh, he's a Christian. He came home like any other ordinary night. When Preconceived he ideas. I woke and I found my husband in a state that I've never, ever seen him in. I heard him scream out, pray for me, pray for me. The Lord has taken me to hell. At 3 o'clock in the morning, I was picked up and taken by the Lord and dropped off in a prison cell. By the hell. Lord. <laughs> it was rough hewn stone walls with bars. Uh, I was awake and cognizant. Uh, it was not a dream. I knew I was wasn't actually a dream. in this place. Mm -hmm. My mouth was so dry. And I noticed the first thing was the tremendous heat. And there's not enough air. This is how you have to breathe in hell. It's like... <laughs> I love the sound effects. Come on, sound, come back. Damn, I hate this thing. The sooner I get my new computer, the better. Are we not gonna play now? Come on, I'm in, I'm in, into this. Oh, great. <laughs> this is what I. Is a man of integrity. Yeah, we went. Through, we have to. Okay. This is what I'm saying. This is why I tried to use my iPad last night. Come on. Okay, where were we? We were in hell, and we were listening to monster sounds as the demons were shaking him like a rag doll. Okay, are we going to get to hear the... meeting like we normally do Sunday night. Mm. And came home like any other ordinary night. Went to bed. 320... <sighs> Come on. I wasn't kidding when I said I couldn't watch videos on this thing. <laughs> you know, I almost wonder if I should use my phone. My phone actually does work. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use my phone. This is sad and pathetic, but that's what, I'm re that's what I am um, reduced to having to do. So I will be back. 23, I woke and I found my husband okay. in a state that I've I'm never not going to touch it. Scream out, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. The Lord is taking me to hell. What a nice God. Taken by the Lord. It's a guided tour. Walls with bars. I was awake and cognizant. It was not a dream. It wasn't a dream. Actually, in this place, my mouth was so dry. And the first thing was the tremendous heat. Of course. Of course. Breathing hell. It's like. All the classic descriptions of hell, all the Christian and Christian descriptions. There were these huge creatures in this cell, <sighs> and they were cursing God. Cursing God. Then they directed that hatred towards me, <sighs> and they had absolutely no mercy. No mercy. The There's a sound effect. <sighs> Oh God, you're kidding me. Come on, 
Come on, keep going, keep playing. Yes. I can see flames in the distance. The flames were of course. Were hundreds, of feet hundreds of feet in the air. Millions of people scream. Millions of people ah, screams. Ah. Burning, literally burning. I was literally burning. And there were demon creatures chained in the wall. Yeah. Back down the tunnel, and that's when I was just being lifted up, and that was the Lord lifting me out of the place. I was so grateful oh, that He just rescued you me God. out of hell. Thank and you, God. I said, Lord, why did you send me? Why did place? you send me to this they place? Said, many people do not believe that hell exists. Even some of my own people do not believe hell is real. I want you to go and tell people <laughs> it's not my will that anyone go there. I'm a very conservative person by nature, so to be identified with something that's seemingly so wild as this, it's uncomfortable <laughs> for me to really explain it. It gave me a much more of a fervency to witness. God's now given us this ministry together, which has been a blessing to see people commit their lives to the Lord. It's not important for people to believe my experience. The most important point is that God loves us so much that he sent his son to die, so we would have to go. I have so not before, God, I have said before you life and death, hell, blessing and cursing, choice. therefore choose, choose life. life. Oh, this is so profound. <laughs> Imagine this poor man, he's sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, his, his God chooses him out of zillions of people. God chooses him to take him to hell on a, on a specially guided tour to, um, <laughs> to show him that hell is real so that he could come back and tell all of us people who don't believe that... that <laughs> Would you fucking stop? Now I wanted to stop and it won't stop. Okay. Um. <laughs> two words come to mind. Bullshit. <laughs> Let's see. How to make money. Uh, 101. Pretend or come up with a story that God took you to hell and you actually were there and you weren't dreaming. No, you were actually there, and it was a real place. And all the things, the classic Christian descriptions of hell were actually real. Big fire, demons, people falling into pits, screams of agony, putrid smells, <laughs> chains and bars, and rough hewn stones. Stone. <laughs> it's all the classic shit. Okay, now if, if this guy had said that, you know, if he if his experience in hell had been like, oh, you know, he found himself in this bitterly cold place and 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 there was no features anywhere. It's just gray, freezing, freezing cold place, and he had to watch his fingers and toes fall off right before his eyes and feel his skin cracking and his flesh falling away from yeah. his bones. You know. If he had said something like that, I might go, hmm, that's, you know, that's, that doesn't come from your classic nursery rhymes, <laughs> which is what the Bible is. You know, but no, his, his, his description, if you go to Google and you, um, you type in images of hell and you click on the link you will go to a page that shows a zillions of pictures of mostly their, their paintings they're all paintings of course nobody actually went to hell and took pictures they're paintings from people's imaginings of what hell looks like based on biblical descriptions you will see pictures that describe exactly or that match exactly what he has just described. People falling into pits, lakes of fire, people writhing in the flames, burning, demons chained to walls. It's almost like he looked at these pictures and came up with this while he was looking at the pictures. Uh, I think this is contrived bullshit. I think it's put out by some kind of Christian whatever with a Christian agenda to scare people. Ooh, this is so scary. This I can't believe a troll actually dared me to watch this piece of tripe. Ooh, this is my future home. You know what? I don't believe in hell, and I think that this is utter bullshit. And anybody who watches this, 
and you know what's funny? I'm just looking at this. There's a there's a another there's another um, video that is one hour and three minutes. And I don't know, maybe that's what the guy thinks I should watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not wasting an hour and three minutes of my life. Now that I know what his stupid whatever is, I don't think so. <sighs> oh, he wrote a whole book. You know what? I think I've actually heard about this. Now that now that I'm you know, he is in he is out for fame. Because look, he comes up with this bullshit story. And he's got interviews, interviews. Ah, uh, he's written a book. How to how to get some money? You know, I could do this. I could, you know what? I was thinking about this the other day. I could I could get money being just. I could I could say that I you know I had a dream because I'm an atheist. I had a dream, and I was shown. I was taken to hell. You know. Uh, God gave me a sneak a sneak preview of coming attractions, <laughs> and I and I and I was so scared that I went back to Christianity, and I realized the whole thing is so true, and God is real, and Satan is real, and hell is real, and maybe I would get to have interviews. Maybe I could write a book about it. You know, I could just totally build on the lie and 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 come up with a with a whole book about my traumatic experiences <laughs> and and from that I could maybe get interviews and 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 people would make videos about it and I would become like you know a, a shining example of of the folly of atheism and how God God is real and <laughs> cares about everybody. Yeah, he really cares about people. You know, if if God actually cared, if Jesus actually, of course there's no such thing as Jesus either, but if, if these imaginary beings actually cared, I'm sorry, Jesus would not take some poor sap to hell and give him a guided tour, and then we're just supposed to take his word that this really happened, right? No, Jesus would be appearing all across the world. He'd be making appearances and signing autographs. And he would be saying, you know what? I'm real. Here, feel me. See? Feel the wounds. Feel the wounds. See, I'm real. It's all true. And, you know, you, you know, if he really didn't want people to go to hell, he wouldn't make people be born predestined to go to hell, which is what he does. You know, he knows the future. He knows all, every thought, every decision we, we're going to make, every inclination that comes our way, that we that we have, he knows every action, every thought, every deed, every turn in the road that we're going to experience in our lives, he knows about it before we are born. He knows before we are born where we're destined to go. When I was a Christian, 35 years or whatever, walking along thinking that God loves me, you turning to God for guidance, you know, um, beseeching God to help me when I was going through bad times, all that stuff. God knew the whole time that I was a failure. God knew the whole time that it was all for naught. God knew that, oh, you know, but, but when she gets to be 35, I'm going to put these things in her path that will cause her to become an atheist because I want more people in hell. I need to have people in hell. I made people to go to hell. Before they were born, they were destined to go to hell. It's part of my divine plan. Everything is is has a place in my divine plan, and we can't disrupt those those things because then the divine plan will fall apart. So no, I don't believe Bill Bill Weiss. I, maybe he isn't full of shit. Maybe he had a bad dream. But no, I think his story is bullshit. I think that saying that. I was there. I could have, I could have breathed. Maybe his face was shoved in a pillow or something and he was having trouble breathing. And it only affected his dream all the more. But yeah, bullshit. The, the religion, <laughs> the whole thing is bullshit. And I'm sorry, I just watched a scary movie last night. You know, paranormal activity, I'm... Ever since I became an atheist, I now am actually able to watch scary movies. I used to not be able to watch them because <laughs> I think the religion had something to do with it. But now I watch scary movies. I like to be scared. And Paranormal Activity 1 and 2, I thought they were pretty scary. But, you know, they were, you know. Paranormal Activity 3, I watched that last night. For the first time, I watched that last night. 
I don't think I've ever seen a movie as scary as that. That scared the shit out of me. I mean, I was literally sitting on my couch clutching a pillow, to, and I was... It was... Maybe other people are scared by other things, but that particular... That was a scary movie to me. That's my idea of a really fucking scary movie. Um, I hear Paranormal Activity 4 is, is crap, so I'm not even going to get that, but... If you haven't seen Paranormal Activity... You know, 1, 2, or 3. I went to the movie theater to watch Paranormal Activity, the first movie, and after five minutes I left because I'm like, holy shit, this is a stupid... Um, handheld camera. This is this is a home movie. I'm not paying 15 bucks to watch this this crap and I left the theater. I'm sorry that I did that because um you know I had a friend say, "Oh, yeah, I kind of liked it." So out of curiosity, I because I was running out of you know scary movies to watch, I got Paranormal Activity. It was like one of those $5 movies you get from Walmart in the movie bin. It was scary. You know? Actually, no, I got Paranormal Activity 2. That's what it was. I got the second one. It was pretty scary. So then I got the first one, which I didn't think was quite as scary, but it was still kind of scary. And then I got the third one because, um, you know, I read that it was really scary. So I, I, I watched it last night. And holy shit, <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that scares me. Um, watching monster movies doesn't really scare me. Um, I don't really, I'm not into blood and gore. I like chain, chain saw massacre kind of movies. I'm not into that, but I like scary movies with paranormal activity, with ghosts and stuff, because it doesn't scare me anymore. The power that, that it had over me that made me scared was the religion bullshit. And now that I don't have that, it's just, it's just... It's kind of fun. It's like, you know, going to a haunted house kind of fun. So anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, I'm not impressed whatsoever with this stupid Bill Weiss bullshit. I'm sorry. Uh, it's bullshit. You know, it's so funny that <laughs> when a Christian supposedly describes from supposedly personal experiences like a near-death experience or like this guy it's always so perfectly matched to what the Bible says you know it's just such a coincidence that the Bible is so right yeah <laughs> you know if somebody who had never heard of the Bible had never read the Bible and never heard of God or Satan or hell or any of this stuff had a near-death experience I kind of wonder what they would describe it as you know it's interesting we've never seen videos about that we never see videos about somebody who isn't a Christian describing a near-death experience you never see a video by a Muslim describing a near-death experience and saying that he see that he saw Jesus you know, you never see a, a Buddhist describing a near-death experience saying that he saw Jesus, <laughs> you know, or, or a Wiccan, you know, or anybody, um, a Hindu, anybody who isn't a Christian. You never hear about these people describing a near-death experience and saying they see Jesus. Only Christians say this, you know. It's just bullshit. So anyway, the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.